The Nebraska-Iowa game wasn't the only big event on Thanksgiving of 1893. On the East Coast, for the first time in many years, the mighty Yale team was finally defeated by their arch-rival Princeton. Football had not only become a part of an American Thanksgiving holiday, it was now the number one sport in America, and in Nebraska, the game had become an obsession. All of Nebraska's youth were playing football, whether it was with their friends or as members of one of the state's two powerful college teams. And the obsession with football was not just limited to young men. In 1894, a young co-ed and aspiring writer named Willa Cather became the editor of the University of Nebraska student newspaper, The Hesperian. Soon afterwards, Cather increased the coverage of the football team in each issue. Apropos of football, it seems to be one of the very few thoroughly reputable and manly games left in the 19th century. It is one of the few games which offer no particular inducement to betting and which are not conducive to strange or natural excitement. It arouses only the most simple and normal emotions. It requires strength and skill and courage, attributes which no young man can afford to be without. She was sort of like a football philosopher of her time. She traveled with all the fans that followed the team. That was a, a fabulous social experience for students, and I, I think she had lots of reasons to like it, which yeah. is sort of surprising for someone who you'd think would, would be totally, uh, you know, mental. I think Willa Cather was also very athletic. She has that, the Plains mentality. That these people are hardy, you know, they'll do, what they have to do to survive, and man, football is just a rough and tumble type thing. And I think that people that work hard and, and uh, play hard, that, that appealed to them. <laughs> 